a special video with a special delivery. What is up guys, this is David. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I'm gonna try to get back to my original schedule. Thank you for everybody who watched, commented, liked, and subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. So this video is about something new I got in the mail today. This is a package from Peak Design. After their successful Kickstarter campaign, they just released a new capture, the slide and the slide light. With over 12,000 backers, it was a really successful campaign. A lot of people loved their products, myself included. And they released an upgraded version of the capture, the capture V3. This version fixes all the issues that people had with the previous versions and also modified certain parts that people didn't like. So in this video, I'm gonna unbox it and show you guys how the new version looks in comparison to the previous one. So let's get into the box. I have the Captures 3 in the dark gray color, which might actually be black. But as far as I've seen it on the pictures, it was dark gray. So in the box, nothing special. I also got the Sony lens holder because it was a discounted add-in option. We'll see how that works out. I'm probably gonna use that with my old capture just to hold the lenses. I'll show you guys a quick peek. So here we have the capture camera clip. And I also got the new Pro Pad. They have an upgraded version of the Pro Pad, which is basically a layer that you can put on your belt or your backpack to make the capture clip more stable. The new Pro Pad, and this is the Capture V3. Ooh. Well, I have to say, it's hard to tell if it's black or just dark gray. It looks really good. There are a few things they changed up with the design. Uh, this unit is metal only. There are no plastic parts. It's not painted, it's anodized. It should hold up a lot better than the previous version. The plate is slimmer, so this one does not fit into the older captures, but the old plates will work in the new capture clip. I like these plates because you can quickly rotate the camera 90 degrees, but I wanted to make sure that these plates will work because I have multiple of these. So the Capture 3, now it comes with two colors, the black and the silver. The Pro Pad matches the material they use for their backpacks and sling packs and all that. So if you mount it on that, it would be pretty much unnoticeable. So let's see what's in the package. It looks like they included a new pouch to hold the, the pad if you're not using it. Also, there's something inside. Okay. It looks like a screwdriver. And what it looks like... Okay, I see two screws. As far as I know, um, this is a permanent mounting option if you want to put it on your backpack and never take it off. These are the screws that you have to use. And you can just take out the ones on here and replace it. They might actually be longer. Uh, I'm, I have to verify that. So let me go through the differences, what I can notice from, from my initial look. The plate is definitely smaller. It's actually a lot smaller. It's about half as tall as the previous one. The screw is not in the middle. It actually has some movement. It probably makes it easier to position it on your camera. The back plate is slimmer. The screw holes are 
hollow. So the screw can go over and it's not gonna stop. The pad itself is small. It is actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. They did say that it's gonna be narrower, but I didn't expect this. The finish is really nice. I can see a color difference between the plate and the clip itself. The plate is definitely black, but the, the clip is a lot more gray than it is black. Now, what I can see is that when you put the plate in, there's a little bit of play. Actually, there's quite a lot of play compared to the previous version, which had a screw on the other side that you can use to secure lock your camera. And as you guys can see, it's I tightened the screws and I locked it, but the plate is rattling. The button that you push in is much bigger. I like that. And when you have the camera secured, you can twist it 90 degrees and it locks. So you can't push it in. It has a nice click to it. And you can see the screws hanging out on the back of the unit that I was talking about that you can actually let the screws go through the plate so you can tighten it real tight on your backpack or your belt. So let's take a look at the pro pad. The pro pad is necessary if you want to mount this on a belt. I think if you mount it on a backpack, it's fine, just the clip. But if you mount it on a belt, it's gonna pull your belt down. And it's not gonna stay flat. I can tell you guys right now that it is much smaller and slimmer than the previous version. There is a big flap on the front that you can open up. It has the design logo on top. And there are a little booklet here that tells you how to mount it on a backpack or on a belt. So there's a little image here. So if you lose this, you can just follow the instructions here. So it says that if you want to mount it on the belt, you have to open it and then you're gonna feed the plate through this layer of material here. It's really tight, so it's really difficult to put it in here. But, and then what happens is you would feed the belt here and then close it. So I don't have a belt around me, but imagine that the belt is here, touching the top and it's basically hanging on your belt. Then it says that you have to close the flap and then put the clip and secure it with the screw. And at this point, you just have to crank it down. Oh, wow. <laughs> this one is a lot more secure than the previous version was. It's it's not moving. It feels like it's, it has some kind of grippy material. It might be the texture on this thing and the rubber inside. But yeah, this is, this, is, this is really not a single movement. Not a single movement to it. And the plate and lock. And that's it. My initial impressions are really great. This is definitely a quality equipment. I think you guys can actually order this today on their website, but they are still fulfilling the Kickstarter supporters first. So you should still expect it within a few weeks. I think they said that it should be available before Christmas. This is my quick first impressions of the new Capture V3 and the Pro Pad. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.